so I know the lighting and angle is not ideal right now, but um, I'm in a parking garage about to interview with Coldwell Banker. So this is actually my second real estate interview, but it's my first one in person and it's my first one with Coldwell Banker. So I'm a little bit nervous and I don't know, I'm so awkward in interviews. I haven't done an interview in a long time. And it's like interesting because, you know, I guess I'm more interviewing them, which is like the interesting thing about interviewing brokerages. So I have like a list of questions that I was going to ask and have this notebook out, which hopefully is not weird, but I wrote down my six questions. The lighting is bad. There we go. So like questions on like how their support and mentorship looks like, their technology, their tools, what marketing materials are included in fees, what are, you know, the monthly fees in general, commission split, of course, and then like just, I don't know, I put lead generation on there if they have like a primary way where they generate leads or if it's all like up to the agents and stuff. Um, but I don't know what I'm doing because this parking garage has visitor parking for 15 minutes and I'm 20 minutes early for my interview and it's 15 minute parking, it's a 30 minute interview. So I'm gonna be parked here for almost an hour and I'm not trying to get towed. So I don't know if I should keep driving around the garage and seeing if there's visitor parking that doesn't say 15 minutes, but like that would be weird because why would they have visitor parking 15, visitor parking extended, that would, I don't know. So I'm just hoping for the best. But I got here super early just because it's in a like an office building. Um, with multiple stories and stuff like that so i need to find like the actual office within this building and i have no idea where that is so i'm gonna walk in and probably be lost and probably have to ask somebody for help <laughs> but yeah so i'm thinking there might be somebody like at a front desk or something that i could ask about the parking too because that would be helpful so i don't know if maybe i should do that now i'll probably get up in the next five minutes i definitely don't want to be late um yeah so anyway, that is that. I just showed you my outfit in the previous clip, which everything is H&M or Zara. The bodysuit is Zara, the pants are Zara, the shoes and the blazer are H&M. Um, but they're all like older items, so I don't have any links or anything. Actually, these pants are pretty new, so I could probably link these. I do like them a lot. Um, I wear them to, like this outfit I wear to my hostess job, so it's kind of just like, it was simple. Anyway. I see somebody in the car next to me. I feel a little awkward <laughs> and I'm gonna go inside in a minute So I will let you know how it goes. Wish me luck Well, I guess you can't wish me luck, but anyway, <laughs> bye. It is multiple hours later now. I think Okay, what time is it? It's five on the dot actually, which is crazy um, And I filmed this at like 1 30 um, So the interview was at 2 I was able to actually move my car. So I asked him when I got there. I was like, so should I move my car? Um, because it said 15 minute parking and they said yes that there was a spot specifically for Coldwell Banker visitor parking So that's where I ended up parking and still made it back on time I think I was like a minute late, but they were totally cool with it and the interview went really really well Like I feel like it could not have gone better. I mean, I know That these brokerages want agents. They want agents to come so they're going to tell you like they're gonna give you the best presentation of course, but I, I remember interviewing with the other one and then that one went like there were just some things I didn't like in my last interview with another brokerage. So, whereas this one, I just loved the staff. I met a couple people. I took a tour of the office. Um, the broker herself is super helpful. I found out that they, the brokers at Coldwell Banker don't actually buy or sell any houses because they dedicate their time to helping their agents succeed, which I absolutely love because my biggest thing right now is getting support. Since I don't have like friends or family that do this, that's really my number one thing is I need somebody that I can go to and ask questions and all that. Um, so yeah, so everything went well. She was super, super friendly. She sent me, well not sent me, she actually gave me a lot of materials. I don't wanna show everything, but basically I got like this magazine, which just shows like where the listings would be. There's all the stuff that they offer that the company pays for. She gave me a paper on like, yeah, advertising tools, their boot camp, like how much I would pay for my local national fees, the office fees, the franchise fees. And honestly, theirs were really low compared to other brokerages and their support and training still looks like 
top notch so i have a really good feeling about this place and yeah i think i'm gonna go with it which is so crazy i have another interview with another brokerage tomorrow at 1 30 on zoom but i don't know like i don't know if i'm gonna do it which is stupid i should just do it and see what they have to offer and just give them another fair chance like i gave these but i don't know like i just really liked the feel of the office the broker and everybody there was just really friendly so we'll see what i do um but from what it looks like i'm probably gonna move forward with them because i now i've had my license for a couple of weeks so i've talked to different people and this so far feels like the best fit for me so yeah anyway i feel like there was something else i was gonna say and i can't remember so I'm just sitting here. It's finally not raining. It's supposed to be raining all day. I was gonna go to an arcade bar tonight with a coworker and I think I'm still gonna go. I'm just trying to get the weather to like clear up, but it looks like it's gonna rain for the next two days. So yeah, it's gonna be a last minute thing if I go. Luckily I already have my makeup on from the interview, so that was really helpful. But yeah, thought I would tell you guys that the parking was totally fine and the interview went so well and yeah, we're living. But yeah, so see you tomorrow. So in the last clip I said I will see you tomorrow. It's actually been like eight days. I'm the worst. But today is Thursday and I wanted to share the super exciting news that I have decided to work with Coldwell Banker as a real estate agent. I kind of figured after I met with them, like I knew right away actually, I knew that this was going to be the place for me and I am so confident in the decision that I made. So I just wanted to share this because... I'm very happy right now and I actually am at the office. I just finished talking to my broker because I've been doing all kinds of things like creating a Facebook page, creating an Instagram page, working on my website, bio, taking headshots. I took my own headshot by the way, I will insert it. Um, I think I did a good job. I did it in my room with my new ring light and my phone. They ordered me some business cards with my face on it and I'm getting my name tag and everything. They were all ordered a couple days ago, so I think by like next week I should be getting them. Um, I signed up for some classes, so I'll be back in the office next week on Tuesday. I've been doing a like basic uh, MLS, like basics course to get familiar with MLS. So that's what I've been working on this week. And then after that, I'm going to be doing like an ethics course for the National Association of Realtors. Paid a big chunk of money to join that, but it's totally fine. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's just overall a lot is happening and it's very exciting and I will share more as I know more and as I learn more But yeah, so I, I had to come on in here and say that I am going to keep my youtube channel very lifestyle because that is what I love Like I'm not gonna make this like a real estate channel um, I'll definitely insert like day in the life of a realtor new realtor stuff like that So there might be content like that coming but it's not gonna be the focus of my channel. I do want to, or I did actually make an Instagram for that. So I will have that in the description. I don't have any posts yet. I'm trying to set up all these different websites and all these different, like learn the CRM and learn the MLS and like do all these things first before I start marketing myself um, on social media and by email and basically all the marketing stuff. I'm kind of waiting until I'm set up and knowledgeable. I will have an Instagram dedicated to real estate as well as a Facebook, but my YouTube channel I just love documenting like my whole life. So real estate is like a part of that, you know, fitness is like a part of that. Um, and then we have like, you know, our hauls and stuff that we all love now and then. So that's all gonna stay the same. Um, speaking of that, the health of my hair has been like really good lately. It's not perfect, but I've always had extremely dry, frizzy hair. So this is so off topic. I'm like talking about real estate and now I'm talking about my hair, but honestly, I, that's a video that's gonna come soon because I've been changing some things in my hair care routine and this shine, like, I've never had. I've been following some, like, thick hair accounts on Instagram. I'll share all that pretty soon. It'll probably be my next video, so stay tuned. But anyway, just wanted to let you guys know that I did join Coldwell Banker and that I'm, like, so excited about it and it's very cool. So, yeah. Uh, I think that's it for now and that'll be the end of this video. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time. See ya